Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and um, when most film geeks think of director Michael Winner, they think of his violent films that he made with uh, actor Charles Bronson. Uh, I even did a, a trailer here on this site uh, for um, one of their collaborations, The Mechanic. Uh, but the early part of Winner's career was much different, and usually featured another actor, uh, Wild Man Oliver Reed. Now, this is one of their strangest collaborations from 1968, Hannibal Brooks. And don't freak out, the first sort of 30 seconds of this trailer is just a voiceover over black. Super Soldier is coming! Well, hello, folks. <laughs> My name is Michael J. Pollard. Actually, this trailer really downplays Oliver Reed's starring role. It's trying hard to sell the film as a Michael J. Pollard vehicle. Imagine that. This is right after Bonnie and Clyde, and they have Pollard here talk directly to the audience throughout the trailer, purposely making him sound as stoned as possible, making jokes and goofy asides, trying to lure in the hip youth audience. You should come back and watch the trailer without my commentary sometime. It's pretty wacky. He actually, at one point, tells you to run out to your local post office to see this movie. Maybe he was predicting Netflix. I can definitely understand the marketing department's struggle to figure out how to put butts in seats for this movie. It really is a feathered fish, but it's also pretty charming and very entertaining. Oliver Reed plays Hannibal Brooks, a sweet-natured British POW in World War II, captured by the Germans and put into a camp with American Michael J. Pollard. Now, all Pollard wants to do is escape and fight the Nazis, but Brooks really doesn't believe in war, and he ends up being transferred on a work detail to shovel crap in a local German zoo. And there, he becomes best pals with the elephant. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is a love story between Oliver Reed and an elephant. Anyhow, through a bunch of Michigas, Reed winds up on the run, actually on a very slow walk, trying to get the elephant away from the Nazis and to the Swiss border. Uh, the picture is about, you see, uh, Oliver Reed and myself escaping from the Germans and taking an elephant over the Alps. Dynamite. Brooksy, I know it's a dopey question to ask you, but uh, what are you taking the elephant to Switzerland for? Well, she's never been there. Now, the main roles here are technically miscast. They really should be flipped. Pollard should play the hippy-dippy animal lover who doesn't want to fight, and Reed should play the rebel who enjoys the battle. It's actually the most un-Oliver Reed you've ever seen Oliver Reed, but it sort of works. And Pollard is a hoot as the little dude who is having a good time in the middle of the war. The movie is written by the great team of Dick Clement and Ian Lafrenet. Uh, these guys are amazing. They've had an extremely long career, always aiming for something a little different, probably best known for the commitments. And this is Michael Winner's fourth film with Oliver Reed, after The Jokers and The Girl Getters and I'll Never Forget What's His Name. Those movies captured the style and spirit of swinging 60s London, but Hannibal Brooks sort of has a bigger canvas. This was Winner's transition to action director. And after this film, he heads off to Hollywood uh, to work with Bronson and Burt Lancaster and Marlon Brando, but the film sort of declined. He had a very, very spotty career. Mm -hmm. 